Joining me now, Randy Evans, former chairman of the Republican National Attorneys Association, the uh, chairman of the American Conservative Union, Matt Slapp. Gentlemen, great to see you. Let me start with you, Randy. It sounds to me like the speaker is starting to talk about contemporaneous uh, execution of repeal and replace rather than as uh, he was playing with the idea of maybe following uh, repeal with like a two-year, three-year proposition uh, for replacing. Your thoughts? Yeah, Lou, I, I think he replaced consecutive with concurrent, which is to move simultaneously. There's no question that seven years of legislation, appropriations, and regulations can't be done overnight. On the other hand, once the legislation is dealt with, once you have repeal and replace on the legislation, President-elect Trump can move very rapidly with rescinding the executive orders and cutting off the appropriations. The regulations may take a little bit longer because we'll have to put the right people in place. I think Dr. Price, as the Secretary of Health and Human Services, will do a great job of making sure we move expeditiously. But you're exactly correct. They've moved from the idea of consecutive action to concurrent action, which means yeah. both the legislature and the presidency moving in tandem together to repeal and replace Obamacare. You're starting to see light bulbs go off uh, in, in the minds of many of the orthodox uh, elites that have been running uh, the Republican Party, uh, Matt. Uh, Donald Trump wants things done. I, I think that there is a genuine shock and some horror within uh, the, Trump, uh, the Trump camp right now that the people he thought were actually working and were wonky in the House of Representatives in particular and in the Senate, uh, to a lesser degree, they thought they were wonky and hardworking. I think he's stunned that there wasn't an organized replacement uh, proposition ready to go. Uh, because we've had all these people like uh, Speaker Ryan walking around as if they knew everything, had done everything, and were prepared for everything. He has to be mightily disappointed in them. Well, you know, I, I thought this was an interesting uh, event because I think Trump uh, decided in his mind that the politics and the policy made sense to run these things together, as Randy said. And obviously there are folks on the Hill who have been saying, no, 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 we'll do this step by step. I think Dr. Rand Paul and others said, you know, if we're going to do this, let's do it. Let's do it together. Let's give people certainty about what they can expect with their health care. And I think you're right, uh, Lou. There's a there's a new sheriff in town. He hasn't been sworn in yes. yet, but big changes happen awfully fast. Yeah, I, I would hope, Randy, that the uh, that the Trump, uh, the Donald Trump's folks would be talking uh, with uh, Senator Rand Paul, as Matt suggests. And why in the hell haven't uh, Mitch McConnell and uh, Paul Ryan and their leadership teams been, in, uh, been talking with Trump, talking with Senator Rand Paul? I understand that Rand Paul can be a, 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 a somewhat outside the mainstream and good for him because these people need to get, you know, get out of what they call mainstream. It's an orthodoxy. It's ossification. And we're witnessing it right now. Uh, why in the hell can't these people communicate, get in line, and quit walking around? You know, I, if I see one more congressman or this speaker talk about the better way agenda, I think I will have a physical reaction. I, what do you, how about you, well, Randy? Well, Lou, I think you're going to see... I think you're going to see all of that fall by the wayside. I think you're going to see President-elect Trump identify those people on, on the Hill who want to actually get something done. He's going to take them. He's going to pick 217 or 18 out of the House. He'll take 60 out of the Senate, and he's going to say, let's rock and roll. Now, he knows that in order to get the repeal and replace through, he's going to have to use the budgetary reconciliation mechanism. Right. That's both the House and the Senate to get it done. But he also knows it can be done quickly if you've got the people willing majority. to work. I don't think he's going to care, Lou, whether you're in leadership or not. If you're prepared to get on the boat and turn the motor up, he's going to be ready to go. Well, well the, the go ahead, go ahead, Lou. Sorry. No, no. I, uh, well, I was just going to say the one the one piece of reality here is that Republicans did sweep uh, on Election Day, but there aren't 60 Republican votes in the Senate, unfortunately. So we've got to pull over eight uh, votes in the Senate. And I want to see, uh, we're going to play a game of chicken with the Democrats. Let's see if they actually don't vote for yeah. what's not on reconciliation for this replace plan as we yeah. watch premiums skyrocket and health care start to fall apart because they're not part of the solution. I think the politics are on the Republican side on that one.
But again, Donald Trump saying yeah, to you're the gonna, Republicans, you're have a cop. saying to the Republicans, don't forget the Democrats own this thing, and don't get uh, don't get too screwed up and screwed around uh, to let uh, anyone forget that. Uh, Randy, you get the last word. Yeah, I was going to just say, you're going to see the politics of personal destruction, which you talked about in the last segment, and the politics of action. And I can guarantee you this, with this electorate, with a change election, the politics of action is going to win out. It's going to win out big. Yeah, you know, one of the things we didn't get to is I'd like somebody to explain to me uh, what Senator Graham and Senator McCain think they're doing. I, I, I mean... We will, by the way, give you an extra 30 seconds if either of you can explain that to me. Uh, otherwise, we'll wait till next time. How, how about searching for relevance? Matt Slap wins <laughs> I the prize. I completely agree. They sit the... on a party. They sit on an island of isolation, knowing not which way the wind blows, but only watching time pass. They better get mm -hmm. on the boat because the boat's pulling out. Now you know what? You had such poetry going, and then <laughs> that somewhat hackneyed metaphor. Uh, Randy, thanks for being with us. That slap as usual. Thank you so much for the quick and insightful answer.